Hey friends, thanks for joining me. This is Will from Dali. This time we focus on this, the interface board to see its functions in the parallel system. After the battery pack is connected to the parallel, what should we do to realize the connection with the inverter? In the parallel system, since we have two sets of lithium battery pack, so we also need two pieces of interface board. There are several communication modes to realize the donking communication between lithium battery and the inverter, like RS45 and CAN communication. We'll use 485 for demonstration. So next, I will show you the detailed wiring steps. Let's go. And I have prepared two sets of lithium batteries for parallel communication and equipped with the BMS, parallel protector, and also with the interface board. Also here is the inverter from Deyi. Here is the total negative wire, and here is the total positive wire. We have to connect these two wires into the inverter. Die switch to number two. And here we can see is the RS45, so we can plug in here. We plug in here. And also we have to make connection with two interface boards. And now we have to use the BMS monitors to make further settings. Open the upper computer and then click communication settings. Find the corresponding serial port number. Open the serial port. You can see the battery formation coming out. Select engineering mode. Click the inverter setting in the lower right corner. Select the corresponding inverter manufacturer. Select the corresponding protocol. Click settings. After finishing this part, we have to set some parameters here. Click settings. And then click the battery settings here. Select battery type. Here we choose a lithium battery. And then click OK to save. Then click into refund whether the setting is successful. And here is the protocol mode of a lithium battery. Double zero represents the DECAM protocol and 12 represents the DA485 protocol. This is fixed, then click OK to finish. Up to now, I finished all the steps of connecting, so now the battery pack and the inverter can work it out. So next, I will show you how to use the BMS monitor to control the BMS pack or control the inverter intelligently. Okay guys, see you next time, bye.